weekly artificial intelligence news. Hello viewers, welcome back to your one-stop shop for all news AI. We're back once more with the latest, sometimes shocking happenings of the artificial intelligence universe. From using actual human brain functions in AI, brain synapses in computers, AI's improved ability in understanding 3D spaces, to studying the Big Bang using AI and managing the risks of AI, we have it all and more. So without further ado, let's jump right into our weekly updates. However, before we do, we request you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss out on another upload of ours. Having said that, let's get right into it. Highlights of the week. Brain's secret to lifelong learning as hardware for AI. When the human brain learns something new, it adapts. But when artificial intelligence learns something new, it tends to forget information it already learned. As companies use more and more data to improve how AI recognizes images, learns language, and carries out other complex tasks, a paper publishing in Science This Week shows a way that computer chips could dynamically rewire themselves to take in new data like the brain does, helping AI to keep learning over time. The brains of living beings can continuously learn throughout their lifespan. We've now created an artificial platform for machines to learn throughout their lifespan, says Shiriram Ramanathan, a professor in Purdue University School of Materials Engineering who specializes in discovering how materials can mimic the brain to improve computing. Unlike the brain, which constantly forms new connections between neurons to enable learning, the circuits on a computer chip don't change. A circuit that a machine has been using for years isn't any different than the circuit that was originally built for the machine in a factory. This is a problem for making AI more portable, such as for autonomous vehicles or for robots in space that would have to make decisions on their own isolated environments. If AI could be embedded directly into hardware rather than just running on software as AI typically does, these machines would be able to operate much more efficiently. Simulating brain synapses in computers. Computers could mimic neural networks in the brain and be much more energy efficient with a new computer component that mimics how the brain works by acting like a synaptic cell. It's called an electrochemical random access memory, ECRAM, and researchers have developed materials that offer a commercially viable way to build these components. Researchers from KTH Royal Institute of Technology and Stanford University have now fabricated a material for computer components that enable the commercial viability of computers that mimic the human brain. Electrochemical random access, ECRAM, memory components made with 2D titanium carbide showed outstanding potential for complementing classical transistor technology and contributing towards commercialization of powerful computers that are modeled after the brain's neural network. Such neuroformic computers can be thousands times more energy efficient than today's computers. Improving AI ability to understand 3D spaces using 2D images. Researchers have developed a new technique called Monocon that improves the ability of artificial intelligence programs to identify three-dimensional 3D objects and how those objects relate to each other in space using two-dimensional 2D images. For example, the work would help the AI used in autonomous vehicles navigate in relation to other vehicles using the 2D images it receives from an onboard camera. We live in a 3D world, but when you take a picture, it records that world in a 2D image, says Tianfu Wu, corresponding author of a paper on the work and an assistant professor of electrical and computer engineering at North Carolina State University. AI programs receive visual input from cameras. So if we want AI to interact with the world, we need to ensure that it's able to interpret what 2D images can tell it about 3D space. In this research, we're focused on one part of that challenge. How can we get AI to accurately recognize 3D objects, such as people or cars, in 2D images, and place those objects in space? Studying the Big Bang using AI. It could hardly be more complicated. Tiny particles were around wildly with extreme high energy, countless interactions occur in the tangled mess of quantum particles, and this results in a state of matter known as quark gluon plasma. Immediately after the Big Bang, the entire universe was in this state. Today, it's produced by high-energy atomic nucleus collisions. Such processes can only be studied using high-performance computers and highly complex computer simulations whose results are difficult to evaluate. Therefore, using artificial intelligence or machine learning for this purpose seems like an obvious idea. Ordinary machine learning algorithms, however, are not suitable for this task. The mathematical properties of particle physics require a very special structure of neural networks. At TuWin, Vienna, it has now been shown how neural networks can be successfully used for these challenging tasks in particle physics. AI system predicts how two proteins attach. Antibodies, small proteins produced by the immune system, can attach to specific parts of a virus to neutralize it. 
as scientists continue to battle SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, one possible weapon is a synthetic antibody that binds with the virus's spike proteins to prevent the virus from entering a human cell. To develop a successful synthetic antibody, researchers must understand exactly how that attachment will happen. Proteins with lumpy 3D structures containing many folds can stick together in millions of combinations, so finding the right protein complex amongst almost countless candidates is extremely time-consuming. To streamline the process, MIT researchers created a machine learning model that can directly predict the complex that will form when the two proteins bind together. Their technique is between 80 and 500 times faster than state-of-the-art software methods, and often predicts protein structures that are closer to actual structures that have been observed experimentally. Managing the risks of artificial intelligence Humankind has been dreaming about intelligent machines for thousands of years. Even ancient Greek mythology incorporated the idea of intelligent robots such as Talos and artificial beings. In the mid-1950s, AI generated a lot of excitement, followed by repeated slumps and hypes in interest until the early 21st century, when reality began to match imagination. Today, AI is transforming every sector of society and the economy, from Fitbits to spaceships and from mobiles to medical robots. The UK government recently released its AI strategy, seeking to incorporate AI into almost every sector. Institutions and organizations including the military, the law, education, and the NHS, as well as international tech giants such as DeepMind and Google, are all involved with shaping our futures with these technologies. It's imperative that they do so responsibly. It could be argued that the present transformation of society is on a par with the Industrial Revolution. Looking back, broadly speaking, it was the global north that benefited, but even up there, industrialization could be held responsible for enormous political, regional, and social upheavals. The extent of many of the long-term negative consequences for society and the environment are only just being realized. As the world catapults into this next major revolution, how do we ensure from the start that AI is used for the benefit of people and the planet, and aligns with fundamental ethical considerations in both the medium and long term? There is a great deal of research and teaching surrounding the development and use of AI, but the Cambridge MST in AI Ethics and Society is the world's first degree in its ethical and societal implications. This is not a technical degree or how to do machine learning. The focus is on the hard questions and seldom aired impacts. System recognizes hand gestures to expand computer input on a keyboard. Researchers are developing a new technology that uses hand gestures to carry out commands on computers. The prototype called Typealike works through a regular laptop webcam with a simple affixed mirror. The program recognizes the user's hands beside or near the keyboard and prompts operations based on different hand positions. A user could, for example, place their right hand with a thumb pointing up beside the keyboard, and the program would recognize this as a signal to increase the volume. It started with a simple idea about new ways to use a webcam, said Naylan Chipper, a recent master's graduate from the University of Waterloo's Cheriton School of Computer Science. The webcam is pointed at your face, but the most interaction happening on a computer is around your hands. So we thought, what could we do if the webcam could pick up hand gestures? The initial insight led to the development of a small mechanical attachment that redirects the webcam downwards towards the hands. The team then created a software program capable of understanding distinct hand gestures in variable conditions and for different users. The team used machine learning techniques to train the type of like program. With that, we come to the end of our weekly updates. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Join in next week for more of such exciting updates.